One of the Go Garrett Go banners hanging at the Oakville Town Square for a week starting June 18th. But on the 19th, it's all football as the Cowboys travel to Brantford to take on the undefeated Bisons. Let's go! Let's go! First quarter action and the Bisons get the ball first. Bisons looking to establish a running game and do, moving the ball well through the start of the game. Bisons move it all the way down inside the Cowboy 35 when a holding penalty slows things down a bit. Pushes them back 20 yards. Cowboys defense then comes up big the next three plays, shutting down the Bisons offense. Bisons on fourth down decide to go for it, get a good run on the outside, but the Cowboys stop them short and the offense comes on the field. The Cowboys on their first series show they're also going to try to establish the running game. Next play, Cowboys offense shows they're going to throw as well as run. Garrett Holmes goes back with a good pass that the receiver just can't hold on to. Next play, however, he decides to throw again a short one to number 54, Jeremy Clark, who takes the ball and goes for a strong first down. Next play, Garrett Holmes keeps the ball and goes for another first down to end the first quarter. Score, Bison 0, Cowboys 0. Start of the second quarter and the Cowboys still have the ball, but things start to go horribly wrong. First a drop ball, then some missed blocks on a punt. Another drop ball turns the ball over to the Bisons. Cowboys defense, however, comes up big, forcing a fumble, putting the Cowboys offense back on the field right away. Things go from bad to worse on this play for the Cowboys, however. Garrett is stripped of the ball, the Bison score, and he's injured on the play. Replay shows Garrett taking a hard hit to an outstretched left leg and being driven into the ground. Garrett stays in the game. Cowboys offense back on the field after the kickoff, looking for something to get back on track. First attempt is a pass, but it's just past the outreach arms of the receiver. Next play, Garrett keeps the ball, goes up the middle for a good gain to start the offense moving. Cowboys go to the air again, but the receiver is having problems holding onto the ball today. So the Cowboys go back to the run. Garrett Holmes again keeping the ball and scores another big run, taking the ball inside the Bison's 30-yard line. Next play, Cowboys stick to the run. Number 54, Jeremy Clark with a great run up the inside, takes the ball inside the 20. Next set of downs, however, the Bison's defense tightens up, stopping the Cowboys cold on three attempts, forcing a fourth down and long. On the fourth down, Raymar Lloyd takes the ball and shows great determination, fights through tackles and pushes for the first down, keeping the drive alive. For a minute to play, Cowboys first down inside the Bison's 20. Garrett Holmes with a good run up the middle for five yards. Next play, however, Things go horribly wrong. Garrett goes back to pass, but there's no pass blocking. He is crushed by the Bison's defense and comes up limping. Stays in for the next play, but again, no pass blocking. He's taken down hard and knocked out of the game to end the half. Start of the third quarter, and the Bisons get the ball off the kickoff, and despite a sustained drive, are kept out of the end zone by a tough Cowboys defense. The starting quarterback, Garrett Holmes, still injured and on the bench. Dante Iacobello takes over as quarterback and tries to get the Cowboys' offense moving. He faces a tough Bison's defense, however, Cowboys are forced to punt to end the third quarter, and the Bisons take over with good field position. Start of the fourth quarter, the Bisons with the ball deep in Cowboys territory, but the Cowboys defense comes up big and shuts the Bisons down. Fourth quarter begins with some good news for the Cowboys as Garrett Holmes gets back in the game. First play, he tests out his injured leg and finds it's good to go with a five-yard gain up the middle. A couple of plays later, Cowboys again looking to pass. Garrett Holmes throws it, but it just misses his receiver. Cowboys keep moving the ball up the middle. And on the outside, a good run here by Jordan Gallardo for a first down. Keeps the ball moving. The Cowboys offense is rolling. A couple of plays later, Jordan Gallardo again. A strong run to the outside for another first down. The Cowboys offense is getting close to the end zone with time rolling down. Just over two minutes left, Cowboys go up the middle. Setting up the next play by Garrett Holmes, a quarterback keep. He's driven outside the pocket, takes the ball on the outside and outruns all the Bison's defense, goes in for the score to tie the game at six. Cowboys go for the win with the kick for the extra point, but they miss it. Game's all tied at six. Just over a minute and a half remaining when the Bison's get the ball, they go back to their ground game and 
gain some major yardage to start things off. Cowboys defense is going to need to get tough to be able to hold off the Bison's late surge, but they do. They're helped a bit by a holding call, which brings the ball back and forces a third down and long for the Bison's. Cowboys bend but do not break on this play, forcing a long fourth down attempt for the Bison's. Fourth down for the Bisons, play of the game for the Cowboys. Jordan Arruda breaks in and pulls the running back down in the backfield, giving the ball to the Cowboys. Cowboys with the ball, Garrett Holmes takes the ball to the outside, but runs out of field and is pushed out of bounds, leaving time for one more play. Last play of the game, Garrett goes back looking for Jeremy Clark, but he can't hold on. Game ends a 6-6 tie, a hard-fought battle between the Bisons and the Cowboys. Bisons fail to win for the first time this season, despite the Cowboys' offense struggling throughout the game, but thanks to a defense that came up strong, led by Bug Smith, who gets the Defensive Player of the Game Award. Adam Latta takes home the Hammer Award, also on the defense, for the hit of the day. Cowboys' next game, next Saturday, against the TNT Express. Garrett's one rushing touchdown raises $1,100 today, bringing his total to $11,200.